All right, here we are. We've got the intake manifold and reed block set up, set back into place on the crankcase, and all the bolts are run down snug, which is just over finger tight good. I've got a torque wrench out, click stop torque wrench. It's it, it's old fashioned, I guess, but it works well. And they're calling for 18 foot pounds of torque on each bolt. Now, any device like this I've ever seen, whether it be marine, automotive, trucks, planes, whatever, spacecraft, you start torquing in the middle, either with these two or these two, and you work out in a radial pattern. In other words, you start with these two, then you do these two, then you go to these outer two, then these outer two, and just in an ever enlarging circle, a circular pattern. And uh, I've already hit these four center ones and brought them to torque, and I'll show you what I'm saying here. In a click stop, this thing clicks. There. That's reach torque. So we're going to continue on in that radial pattern. And it's shown in any of your manuals, a torquing sequence. So I'm not going to bore you with each one of these bolts one by one. So once we get this part done, the next part will be rehooking the carbs and the linkages. All right, guys and gals. We've got the intake manifold torqued down. Now I just wanted to share a little trick with you. Most of you may know it, some may not. Some of you may think I'm out of my mind. But we're going to be placing those carbs on a vertical surface and the gaskets are not going to want to stay. So we just take a little piece of thread and tie the gaskets on. do that the gaskets won't fall off it'll be a lot easier for you <laughs> 